We will begin in a yin type class. So these are slow poses. We hold them for long periods of time, breathing, and just focusing on letting go, relaxing in every single pose. And then we'll end the practice with a guided meditation. I hope this brings you comfort and peace and you're able to find space to breathe. The props that we'll need, you will need a bolster or pillow, uh, two blocks or books, and then we'll need a blanket. So go ahead, get those things, get some water, and I'll meet you on your mats. All right, welcome back. So we'll get started seated in a comfortable position. So I'm going to take a seat on my pillow, my bolster. So I'm going to smooth it out to the top, position it, and then fold up my blanket so that I have a little extra cushion underneath my shins and calves. And take a seat right on top of that. Nice and comfy, however you feel most comfortable. Blocks we can use underneath our knees for a little extra support if we're feeling tight today. So find a comfy position. Start to settle in with your breath. Noticing anything that's going on in your body, anything that's going on in your mind. What do you want to bring with you? Through this practice, what do you want to leave behind? It's your choice. <sighs> Become aware of your surroundings, the room that you're sitting in, whether or not you're using a mat. Bring some gratitude towards the props that are underneath you or beside you. And we'll take some nice big inhales and exhales together. Eyes can stay open, just softening down at the ground, or we can close them. So nice big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Two more, inhale in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Last one, inhale. Biggest sigh yet. Good, reseal your lips, close your eyes. If they're not closed, and start to feel the props beneath you, the floor beneath you. Imagine yourself suctioned into the ground. So we're not going anywhere, we're here to stay. We're heavy, heavy, heavy. Relax your belly. Relax your back, your shoulders. Relax your jaw, maybe moving around, wiggling out if we can't get relaxed. Pay attention to the sounds you hear around you. What do you hear? Notice any smells in the room, maybe you're burning a candle. Become aware of any tastes in your mouth. Maybe you just ate. Maybe you just drank something. Notice those things. Come back to the pace of your breath. And find an evenness. 
So if your inhales are longer than your exhale, start to lengthen out your exhales. If your exhales are longer than your inhales, start to lengthen out your inhales. And start to use this time to relax any part of your body that you still feel tense in. The yin pr practice that we'll be doing, we really want to make sure that we are relaxed so we can take the benefits of the postures to their most furthest extent. If we are tense in any of the postures, we're, we're going to feel that. So really letting go. Take this time, let go of anything. If you know you need to sit a little bit longer and breathe, pause the video, sit for as long as you need to let go of whatever you have. Take a nice big inhale in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. And flutter your eyes open. We'll move into our first posture, which is butterfly pose. So we'll come off of our pillow or bolster if we're sitting on it. And we may want to just sit on that blanket. We may want to be all the way down on the ground. And I'm going to sit on my blanket. So butterfly pose. We'll draw the soles of the feet together. And then... We're going to modify this posture to make it more yin. We're going to walk those feet out. So we're making a diamond shape with our body. And those blocks or books, very helpful to have on the outsides of our legs, supporting ourselves if our hips are tight or if we feel any pain there. Relax your toes. Relax your spine. Give yourself a little wiggle. And we'll move with breath, just like we do in a more flow-based class. We'll inhale, find a nice, tall spine. Keep the belly relaxed. And then exhale, we'll start to hinge forward. We want to hinge about to the point where we feel our back begin to round. So moving very slow. Yin is all about slow, steady. And once we reach that stopping point, hands can rest on ankles. And we'll just round ourselves up, letting ourselves hang. Notice anything that's shifted in your body, what do you feel now? That you're bent over instead of sitting up. And we're gonna stay. So yin is all about slow. Um, for most of us, we may not be able to stay still for the whole time, but we do want to move slowly. So just let yourself hang. Let yourself relax, listening to your breath, noticing what thoughts come into your mind. We can use this as a time to do a more meditative practice, a more calming practice for our bodies and minds so that we can really release the stress of the week, or the anxiety for the future. We just let those things go with our breath and focus in on what we're feeling. We are probably feeling a lot in our hips in this posture. And as long as we're not in pain, I want to invite you to stay in that discomfort. The discomfort on our bodies can distract our mind from the discomforts of life. And so finding this space just to allow yourself to experience yourself to your fullest extent. Feel free to turn up the music. Let yourself relax here. If we need to move around or come out of a posture, we can always do that. But I will leave us in silence for about a minute to really embrace this posture. Relax everything.
On your next inhale, we want to move as slowly as we can imagine moving. Gently lift yourself up. And cross your feet, your ankles, your legs. And then inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, twist over towards the right. So left hand can come on the outside of the leg, right hand plants behind us. Little gentle twist here. And we're gonna take seven rounds of breath. So relax your spine, relax your shoulders. To intensify the stretch through our spine, we can also take our gaze towards the back wall. Notice what you feel along your spine. Try to keep that steady breathing. On your next inhale, come back to center. And exhale, other side. And we can take our gaze to the back wall or make it a more relaxed twist. Three more rounds of breath. Next, inhale. Come back to center. And then just give it yourself a wiggle. You want to release any excess energy that's hanging out in our bodies. Leave your left leg in. And we're going to extend our right leg out. So we know this posture in our more active yoga as head to knee pose. And this pose is just half butterfly. So we did full butterfly. This is half butterfly. Blocks or books are very helpful here. So if our hamstrings are really tight and we feel pain, so this is the distinction. If we feel pain, we want to bring a prop and fill in that space to lessen the sensations. We don't want to get rid of the sensation altogether. We want that discomfort to help grow our bodies. It's in that discomfort that we sink into our deep connective tissues. So we can use our props here just like this, or we can keep our props out altogether. From here, we're gonna take a forward fold down center again. So we'll start to feel the sensations a little differently than our first butterfly posture. So take this time, notice what's different. In the noticing, we create space in our minds and we create calmness, not judging the sensations that we're feeling, but just naming, oh, I feel a lot more of a stretch in my hamstring than I did when we were doing regular butterfly. So notice what's going on in your body. Continue to breathe. And if you're flexing your foot up, just relax it. Relax your shoulders, your spine, your belly. Just let your belly be. And take it to however deep you can with both sit bones rooted in the ground. Some of you may be able to go pretty far forward. Rest your arms down, rest your head. For those of us who aren't using our books or blocks, maybe we lean on those, let our head hang heavy. But again, we'll be here for a minute of silence just to embrace this space, relaxing, letting go, figuring out what's going on in ourselves.
Again, slowly coming back up on your inhale. Walk yourself up. Bring your feet, both feet out in front of you. Heels down, maybe whole of your foot down. Hands reach back, fingers point forward, and just sway your legs side to side and puff up your chest a little bit. Let your head sway as well. Once you feel like you've gotten rid of those sensations, that energy stored, we're gonna move on to the right side. So right foot comes in, left foot extends and relax. So we may need the props to lift ourselves up to lessen the sensation. Or we may not. This side may feel totally different and might feel the same. So we wanna check back in. Nice tall spine as you inhale. And then exhale to fold. Notice whatever's going on. Take this time to recognize. Continue to breathe. Make any adjustments. There's no need to stay in complete stillness. We can always move around. So take your time. Find what feels right for this side of your body. One minute again of silence and resting here. Inhale, begin to crawl yourself back up to the top. Both legs come out to the front, knees bent. Hands behind, fingers pointing forward. And sway your legs side to side, puff up your chest, move your neck. Great job. Move until you feel good. And come on to one side into tabletop. So blanket underneath knees for really more sensitive knee people. Otherwise, tabletop here. Sway your hips side to side. Now we're going to take a minute or two here just to notice what's going on in our bodies. Taking some cat cows. So as we inhale, belly drops, gaze lift slightly. Exhale, we around through our back. We want to make these more passive cat cows so we're not dumping down a whole lot because we want to keep our belly a little bit more relaxed than in our active practice. But moving. Notice what you do. Maybe swing your hips side to side as you transition into cat cows. Maybe even drawing some circles. Inhaling forward. Exhaling, rounding it back. When I do cat cows, I like to draw figure eights. It just feels good to sway the body. So I really want you to feel what movement you need to make and then make it. Yin is all about listening to your sensations in your body. So that's why we started moving through the five senses in your body. You're connecting with ourselves, let your body guide you. Your body is your teacher. Maybe you need to hang out in a pose. Maybe you need to keep moving. 
Maybe a different variation of the hands would feel nice. Palms facing up, fingers towards you. Maybe hands down, fingers out towards the sides. Anything at all. Maybe we rotate those fingers around back. About seven more breaths here. Time to explore, time to notice. Notice yourself in your body. Continue to move. About two more rounds of breath left in this. And then come up on your knees, grab your pillow or bolster. Um, we may want this, we may not. So have it just to the tip of the front of your mat. Our next posture is heart melting pose. So knees are under hips. We're gonna walk those hands forward, drop down our chest towards the mat. So heart melting pose is a big, Big shoulder stretch. That's why this pillow is there. So, option one, we lower all the way down. Chin comes down. Option two, we grab this pillow and we bring our arms on top of the pillow and our chin or forehead can rest on it. Option three, if we still want to get a good stretch, through our shoulder, and we have the capability of doing option one, but it's just too much. We can do one arm at a time. So right arm, I'll show you with the right arm out. I want you to start with the left arm out first, but right arm comes out first, and we bend the left arm down. So hand somewhere near the shoulder. We're still getting a good stretch through the opposite arm. And you can rest your head down if you're doing this arm, one arm one, with the opposite cheek down or with your chin down, doesn't matter. We're gonna take five more rounds of breath here. Notice the sensations you feel. We don't wanna be in any pain, but discomfort, we want to embrace that. If you're doing one arm, slowly begin to press into both hands. Walk your left hand back. Take a round of cat-cow. And then extend your right arm. Bend your left elbow and lower down. Again, we can lower cheeks down looking opposite direction of our extended arm. Five more rounds of breath. Relax your body, relax your mind. Wherever you are, inhale, press into your hands or your arms, lift yourself up and find your movement. Take some cat cows, move around. Find out what feels nice, what would feel good to you. And whenever you feel like you've gotten rid of those sensations, we'll find child's pose. Knees come together, toes, or knees separate, so knees come wide, toes come together. And we can always use our bolster or pillow to lie horizontally or vertically in front of us to make this child pose more supported and lower it down. We'll be here for a minute of silence. So start to do a body scan. What's changed in your bodies from the previous pose to this pose? What does it feel like?
And the next inhale, slowly, slowly, slowly rise back up into your tabletop. Get that movement out of your body. And then bring your blanket back underneath your seat. And we'll sit down. Make sure your props are near you so you can grab them if you need them. Coming into square or fire log. So we have a couple of options for this next posture. Option one, we come into the full variation. So starting with the left side, right ankle will come down and we're gonna stack our left ankle over. So we want the ankle over the side of the knee ooh, and the knee over the side of the ankle. So I already feel this, um, my hips are very tight. So I'm going to grab this block and place it in between. We can use our pillow, we can use our book, and we wanna relax our legs and feet. By relaxing, you probably already feel a little bit more tension in your hips. With that tension, we're creating more space, we're building flexibility. Yin helps increase flexibility if we have a yin practice, a consistent yin practice. So option two, if this is too much, totally understandable, we're just gonna extend that bottom leg out towards the front and relax our legs. So turning this into a figure four stretch, we use that block to prop up our other knee. So option one or option two, your choice. I'll go back into that option one. If we feel any pinching in our kneecaps, go into that option one or option two, not the fullest variation, but the um, modification. So from here, inhale, nice long spine. And then we can fold if we want to intensify the stress in our hips. Um, if we start to fold, we're going to lessen the gap in between, so we may need to change um, the height of the prop that's underneath us, or the thickness of the prop. We're gonna take a minute here as well. So what are you feeling? Is it pain? If it's pain, come out. If it's not pain, but it's you know mildly uncomfortable, we're gonna breathe through it. Nice deep breaths to create that space. Next, inhale, slowly start to stack shoulders back over hips. Move the props that you have. Gently uncross your legs and bring both feet out towards the front. Now, I'll turn to the side just so you can see, but stay where you are. So feet are out towards the front. Hands are back behind you, fingers facing forward. And then option we just stay here, hips are down, we're taking the same posture that we did after our half butterfly in the previous section. Option two, if we need to get more of a hip stretch, we can press into our hands, press up, finding our reverse tabletop. One more round of breath, really squeeze your glutes together, send those hips high, and then exhale, lower back down, sway it all out. And we'll start to transition into the other side. So left leg is on the bottom this time. Right leg on top. Notice if there's any difference in this side than the other side, there probably will be. And then use the props if you need them. 
So taking a moment, find your posture. If we need to modify it, you just extend the left leg out in front, relax, and then use again the props if we like. Square pose, fire log pose. Once we find our position for this posture, option to just lean forward. We add the stress to create that space and then relax. So again, one minute of silence. Breathe deeply, notice what you're feeling. Relax your face and your feet. Next, inhale slowly, start to restack your body. Gently move your props. Carefully uncross your legs. Again, we'll take some movement. We can just sway here, little chest opener. Or once more, we can come into that reverse tabletop. So hands on your shoulders, press up. Squeeze the glutes, two rounds of breath here. Press your hips up towards the sky. We can even rock if we want. Good. Slowly lower your hips. Sway it all out. Way to go. We've finished our seated postures. We're going to come all the way down on our backs. Move your props so they're next to you. Accessible volume. Come all the way down on your back. And draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a rock side to side. And we're just gonna move here. We're gonna feel the pressure along our back, underneath our head, sway your head side to side as well. Just a minute of slow, slow movement. Embracing, doing nothing. I think that's one of the biggest perks of practicing yin is that we are practicing boredom, practicing doing nothing. Next time you're up to center, go ahead and pause here. And then we're just gonna do some brushing of our knees. So we're gonna brush our knees towards us, relax our feet. A little rock. This helps do some threading in our minds, um, this touch and this release. So we're relieving tension just by doing this. Good option, we stay here, knees, we rock side to side, or we come into stirrup pose, which is happy baby. So grabbing on the backs of thighs, feet come up towards the ceiling. We wanna root down through our tailbone and our shoulders. If we can do that and reach for our toes, peace fingers around toes, or reaching for the outer inner arches of the feet, we can do that. We just want to stay in stillness here. We want to relax the feet. Maybe bending a little bit more through the knees to relieve tension in the knees or hips. 
you choose. Let your body guide you. Again, let the sensations lead you to where you need to go. Breathe deeply and fully. Three more rounds of breath here in this shape. And then two rounds of breath just to move. You can straighten legs, rock side to side. And then bring your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Draw your chin up toward your knees. And then lower all the way down. Bring the soles of your feet onto your mat. And sway your knees side to side. I like to extend my arms up overhead. You can keep your arms down by your sides. It's up to you. Option here to do whatever you need to do. So if that's some twisting, we can bring our knees down to one side. Shoulders are rooted. Gaze comes over to the opposite side. Or if we want a little hip opening, we can find our butterfly pose lying down here. Soles of the feet come together. Take whatever other posture you need to be able to rest in your Shavasana. And for our Shavasana today, I'll be guiding us through a meditation. And this meditation comes from the practice of Yoga Nidra. And so I'll be reading from a section of that book. And so take a moment, use your props if you need to. We can bring the blanket underneath our head as a pillow. We can put it on top of our hips. We can drape our legs over our pillow or bolster. Find your most comfortable Shavasana. And if your Shavasana is not lying down today, if we're feeling a little active, a little stressed, we can always take a seat again, propping ourselves up on our pillow or using our blanket. So take your time. Feel free to move around. Getting out any extra energy that you have in your body so you can rest and relax. We'll begin our meditation now. Close your eyes, keep them closed. Take a deep breath, and as you breathe out, Feel the cares and worries of the day flow out of you. In the practice which follows, you are going to develop the feeling of relaxation in the body. It's not necessary to make movements or deliberately relax your muscles. Simply develop the feeling of relaxation. It's like the feeling you have just before sleep. When relaxation becomes deep, sleep does come, but you should try to keep yourself completely awake. And this is very important. Tell yourself that you will not sleep and that you will remain awake throughout the practice. During yoga nidra, you're functioning on the levels of hearing and awareness. And the only important thing is to listen to the instructor's voice. 
No need to try to intellectualize or analyze the instructions as this will disturb your mental relaxation. Simply follow my voice with total attention and feeling. And if thoughts come to disturb you from time to time, do not worry. Just continue the practice. Allow yourself to become calm and steady. Now, bring about a feeling of inner relaxation in the whole body. Concentrate on the body and become aware of the importance of complete stillness. Develop your awareness of the body from the top of the head to the tips of the toes. Complete stillness and complete awareness of the whole body. Continue your awareness of the whole body. The whole body. The whole body. And the practice of yoga nidra begins now. This is a moment to make your intention, your resolve. One that comes naturally. And say it three times to yourself with awareness. With feeling and emphasis. If you don't have one, just continue breathing in awareness of your whole body. We now begin rotation of consciousness. Rotation of awareness by taking a trip through the different parts of the body. As quickly as possible, the awareness is to go from part to part. Repeat the part in your mind and simultaneously become aware of that part of the body. Keep yourself alert, but do not concentrate too intensely. Become aware of the right hand. Right hand thumb. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Fifth finger. Palm of the hand. Become aware of your palm. Back of the hand. The wrist. Lower arm. The elbow. The upper arm. The shoulder. The armpit. The right waist. The right hip. The right thigh. The kneecap. Calf muscle. The ankle. The heel, the sole of the right foot, the top of the right foot, the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Become aware of the left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. Palm of the hand, back of the hand, the wrist, the lower arm, the elbow, the upper arm, the shoulder, the armpit, the left waist, the left hip, the left thigh, the kneecap, the calf muscle, the ankle, the heel, the sole of the left foot, the top of the left foot, the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Now to the back. Become aware of the right shoulder blade, the left shoulder blade, the right glute, the left glute, the spine, the whole back together. Now go to the top of the head. 
and the top of the head, the forehead, both sides of the head, the right eyebrow, the left eyebrow, the space between the eyelids, the right eyelid, the left eyelid, the right eye, the left eye, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, the nose, the tip of the nose, upper lip, lower lip, the chin, the throat, right chest, the left chest, in the middle of the chest, the navel, the abdomen, the whole of the right leg, and the whole of the left leg, both legs together, the whole of the right arm, the whole of the left arm, both arms together, the whole of the back, glutes, spine, shoulder blades, the whole of the front, abdomen, chest, the whole of the back and front together, the whole of the head, the whole body together, whole body together, the whole body together. The whole body on the floor. Become aware of your body and lying on the floor. Your body is lying on the floor. See your body lying perfectly still on the floor in this room. Visualize this image in your mind. Become aware of your breath. Feel the flow of your breath in and out of your lungs. Do not try to change the rhythm. The breathing is natural, automatic. You're not doing it. There is no effort. Maintain awareness of your breath. Feel your navel rising and falling slightly with every breath. With each and every breath, it expands and contracts. Concentrate on this movement in sync with your breath. Leave your breathing. We now come to visualization. A number of different things will be named and you should try to develop a vision of them all. Maybe even a vision of them on all levels. Feeling, awareness, emotion, imagination as best as you can. We begin. Burning candle. Burning candle. Burning candle. Endless desert. Endless desert. Endless desert. The Egyptian pyramid. Egyptian pyramid, torrential rain, torrential rain, 
snow-capped mountains, a Greek temple at sunrise, birds flying across a sunset, red clouds drifting across above a church, stars at night, a full moon, wind from the sea, waves breaking on a deserted beach, the restless sea, eternal restless sea, waves breaking on a deserted beach. Now is the time to repeat your intention. Repeat the same one that you made at the beginning of the practice. Now repeat this intention three times with full awareness and feeling. Relax all efforts. Draw your mind outside and become aware of your breathing. Become aware of the natural breath. Awareness of the whole body and awareness of breathing. Your body is lying totally relaxed on the floor. You are breathing quietly and slowly. Develop awareness of your body from the top of the head to the tips of the toes. And become aware of the floor and the position of your body lying on the floor. Visualize the room around you. Become aware of your surroundings. Lie quietly for some time and keep your eyes closed. Start moving your body and stretching yourself. Please take your time, do not hurry. When you are sure that you are wide awake, sit up slowly and open your eyes. The practice of Yoga Nidra is complete. Once you're seated, inhale, arms up towards the sky. Nice big stretch at the top, interlace your fingers, rock side to side. Exhale, bring your arms down, hands come to heart center. Thank you for letting me guide you through this practice. And I pray that you find peace, comfort, joy, and all and all other types of things for your life. It's my absolute honor to be here with you. Namaste. No